I was going to wear a hat, but it's so hot in this house because I left the air conditioner off because it, it wasn't hot this morning. I'm not wearing a hat for this. So you just have to deal with my cue ball head, all right? Let's get into the video. What's up, YouTube? It's Danny back with another video. I haven't said that line in a while. Uh, unless, well, I didn't say it yesterday. Anyway, let's just, let's just get into it, all right? Today was the Apple event. I don't know what they call it. I forgot what they call it. I'll add it in post, uh, but it was a refresh of the Apple Watch. The AirPods and the iPhone. I think that's it. Well, that's all I want to talk about. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyway, yeah, today was a refresh of all that. So um, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. We're gonna start with the Apple Watch Series 10 is out. It's uh, it's got a bigger screen and it's it's thinner than the Series 9, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't really care. I have the I have the Ultra 2, which they did a refresh on. But also, let's let's be real. Like, come on, come on. Even if I didn't have the Ultra 2, I, I wouldn't care. But yeah, so Series 10's out. If you like that, that's cool. It's got a bigger screen and some other features I didn't really pay attention much to. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna move right along to the Ultra 2. Um, it's now available in shid, not just piss. This is the piss color. It's a joke, it's titanium. And now it's available in black titanium or whatever. Anyway. Piss or shit, you pick. And now they have new bands as well. Uh, I will be getting a new band for this, just because it needs to be refreshed, I think. And do I have this? <laughs> I put the band on upside down. Um, I'll be honest, before I started this video, it wasn't even on a band. I just slapped one on just so I could for the video. But it's flipped. I look, it, looks, it looks like I wear this on my right wrist. But I wear it on my left. Anyway, the band, the band's upside down, whatever. It's a visual cue. It's all it is. Like, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so now you can get the Ultra 2 in black or titanium. Me, personally, the black looks nice, uh, but it's not worth the upgrade from the titanium because that's the only thing that's different is a color. There is going to be a software update to allow this to do more than it already does, and I already forget what because it's like some something to do with sports. Do I look like I play sports? Let's be real. Come on, guys. You tell me all the time I don't look like I play sports. In very mean ways. Anyway. <laughs> so that's that. This thing is dead. I have not worn this thing in so long. Again, watch enthusiast. It's hard to wear the iPhone for your wrist. It's really hard to wear it. And I know it's a watch. I get it. It's a watch. But it's not a watch. You know what I mean? You probably don't. If you're not an enthusiast, you don't, you don't get it. And it's fine. Moving right along to the AirPods. So AirPods 4 is out, which I will be getting. Um, I do want to get the $129 model for two reasons. One, they're that cheap. That's wild. I'll get those no problem. And two, I need them for the office because I don't use noise cancellation in the office uh, with my current headphones, which are some Beats, which are, mm, eh. And so I think $129 for the non-noise cancellation is a great deal. They're going to sound great. I'll be able to hear my colleagues and the phone ring and the door bell and all that stuff so that's perfect for me I am also probably going to get the AirPods Pro 2 um, which now that I think about it maybe I won't because those aren't even new they're just software update that's all that that's all it really is with those nothing changed in fact the biggest change was the AirPods 4 because the AirPods Max is now available in USB-C and five new flavors Fun fact, I sold my AirPods Max this past weekend for about 300 bucks. Actually, for exactly 300 bucks plus, you know, uh, tax or whatever. And um, thinking that I was going to get a radical change come Monday. They changed to a USB-C port from the Lightning port and changed the color. So the red ones I sold, they no longer make, or pink, whatever you want to call them. Coral, I guess, is the uh, official name. They don't make that anymore. They now make it in uh, still black or dark gray or whatever space something um, purple puke green or something like that starlight I think who cares I don't know I, I didn't I was just like oh that's it just just a port change really that's it whatever so that's the update for that and yeah this is definitely not professional as you can tell uh, let's get to the main meat and potatoes though or whatever saying is the iPhone 16. We all knew it was coming out. We all knew it was going to be called iPhone 16, and it's out. It's here. Well, it's not out, but it is here. It's been announced. Um, and it's in four flavors. 
Well, I'm sorry. That's the 16 Pro. The iPhone 16 is in, I think, five different colors, and uh, one's like blue, and there's green. The, I think there's purple, and the black. Who cares? I'm not getting that model. I'm getting the Pro. The Pro model. Let's talk about the Pro. So, as you all know, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This big mf -er, right? It's huge. This thing's massive. One terabyte old at this point. Paid off. So there's that. And this one was Sierra Blue. So, I love the Sierra Blue. I loved it more when I got it when it was new, but I've had it for three years now. I'm kind of tired of the blue. Uh, and so there are like four different colors to choose from. You get... Uh, Titanium black, I think. Titanium, titanium, titanium white, and then titanium brown or something. I, these are all I don't remember the names. I'm this is no script. And I'm gonna go with the black. I'm actually gonna go with the black. I normally go with the wild color. That's usually what I do. Like this Sierra Blue is the wild color for the 13 Pro Max. And I'm gonna go one terabyte and iPhone 16 Pro, not Max. I don't like carrying around a phablet. This is basically what this is. This is the iPhone 13 Pro phablet. Is how I see it. This thing is heavy, it's big, it's bulky, and I want something smaller. And luckily, the only difference between this one and the Pro is just size. Like everything, I get all the other features. And so I'm actually going to downsize my physical phone. Now I'm going to stick with one terabyte because I've got one terabyte of data. Not quite. I'm, I think I'm 50% of the way. It's a one terabyte full on this. And so I'm going to keep that one terabyte configuration. But instead of getting the Max, I'm just going to get the Pro. And I'm going to get it in black. So just kind of calming down on the colors I buy these days. And uh, the the tech is pretty amazing. They have the, the you know, Apple Intelligence is in it, obviously. Uh, they got a feature where you can uh, point at like a restaurant with, and then press the camera button, which, by the way, is new. And it'll tell you about that restaurant. It's pretty cool. You can do it to a dog, which they did. You know, I wonder if you can do it to like criminals. Like if you say, if you see like a, what you think is a, like the Zodiac, the, the Zodiac killer, do it to him, and they'd be like, beep boop, yes, Zodiac killer. I am excited for that. Yeah, I'm definitely not wanting to go with the. I see a lot of boomers with this size, also, and I think it's because they have bad eyes. <laughs> Speaking as somebody with bad eyes, but. I see better when I'm up close, so I don't need glasses when I'm up close. That's why I don't wear glasses when I use my phone, which is a lot of the time. So I'm going to definitely downsize to the smaller 16 Pro and not get the Max this time. As a, like I said, as much as cool as the phone is, it's heavy. It is, it is stupidly heavy. And it's bulky. And I wear gym shorts most of the time because I like being comfortable. And I'd rather just have the Pro and not the Pro Max. That's just me. That's just me. So how long have I been rambling for? But yeah, so that'll do it for this video, I guess. Um, yeah. The Apple Watch Ultra 2. I guess get the black one if you don't have one already. Otherwise, you're wasting your money on a color. That's literally it. It's just a color. Like, the S10 chip is in the iPhone. Or I'm sorry, it's in the Apple Watch Series 10. So we are stuck on S9, even with the new Ultra 2 that came out today. It's still S9, but it's not a big deal. This one's better than the Series 10 by far. Look at the spec sheet. Just go with the Ultra. Just You want the best experience of the Apple Watch, go with the Ultra. I, this is this is the best Apple Watch I've ever owned. It's also the one I've used the least because my watch hobby. So, speaking of today, I am wearing the Citizen Promaster Skyhawk Blue Angel Edition. Look at that thing. Look at that beautiful, busy, hideous dial that some people probably won't like. But if you're a watch nerd like I am, that is that is a work of art. So... Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. That's quick, very quick rundown, very sloppy. There you go, at least you know what I'm getting. And so, I'm going to order it on Friday, and uh, it'll be here on the 20th, I think. I'll probably take that day off, and uh, it'll be the iPhone day. And we will unbox, and test, and set up, and put it all on camera, and shove it on YouTube so I can get paid for a small portion of what I spent on that phone. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all. In the next video, more to come, believe it or not. I'm not just saying that. Actually, more to come. Stay tuned, and I'll see you all later. I'm going to go play Call of Duty with Michael and Eric. Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right. Bye-bye.